Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you how to install a micro SD card to expand your storage. So I've got a one terabyte card, and because I've got the 512 gig Steam Deck, but even then it's just run out of space. And especially with, now that I've got the PlayStation 2 emulator installed, I'll get a PS3 and like a Wii emulator, emulator and a, a, what's it called, a Switch emulator. I'm going to need a lot of space. So first of all, what you want to do is obviously just install it down here that little slot down there install it so the label is facing up and literally just there we go make sure you slot it in and now that's in unfortunately it doesn't just like pop up and say let's format and let's set things up like you know some devices do unfortunately so what you want to do click steam go to settings and in here, if we go to storage, we just see the internal drive. It's not there. It's not being added or anything like that. We need to format it ourselves. Again, it's a bit annoying. I think there's some areas like this where the Steam Deck, um, it, 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 it will just get updated. It just needs... You just need a few basic things like this and I, I remember when the ps5 came out it lacked some basic stuff because you know valve playstation you know they're just getting the console out as quick as possible and there some things just need to be added so what you want to do is go to system and scroll down and go to format sd card and... Yeah, one second the Format button is not appearing. Let me make sure. Okay, it has now appeared. So it appeared, it seemed that I hadn't fully put the micro SD card in. It helps if you use your nail. And if you click format SD card, format, and blah blah blah, yeah, that's fine. It's going to wipe everything. So if you're using it from another device, just bear in mind it will delete all the contents of the micro SD card. And so it doesn't take long. Once this is done, I'll show you it appearing in the storage section. Okay, there we go. It is now formatted. If we go to storage, there we go. It says micro SD card. Obviously, 100% of it is free because I don't have anything installed. But there you go. So you can now install stuff onto your micro SD card. So, yeah, I'll provide a link in the description to an article where it talks about the, you know, recommended micro SD card because some of them, depending on the speed, of the read and write may not work very well so you know you don't want to spend a fair bit of money on let's say a one terabyte card 
and find it doesn't work well. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.